Hi, welcome to Construction Cronies. My name is Chris Conkle. Today, I'm going to be teaching you guys a little bit about layout. We've been doing a lot of live streams lately on my channel and discussing layout and drawings. So I thought I would actually break it down into smaller, more digestible videos for you guys. In this first video, I'm going to be showing you guys how the piling and the grade beams correspond to columns and the grid lines. So this is the very basic foundation of how construction projects are started and where we get the grid lines from as well. So then you can take them from the drawings and get your measurements to do your layout. All right, so metal stud framers, this is for you. these piles right now because there's grid lines right usually designated by numbers and letters so <clears throat> this this is all in the ground right these piles are in the ground and then the the slab gets poured after right the, the piles are inside the ground they get they, they could be um, like they're just circle 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 circular uh, filled with concrete basically they, they, they drill them out and um, here let me see right they can go they'll go down like say all the light poles and light standards those will be like three meters uh, depending how tall the building is you know it'll be anywhere from three to you know ten meters or whatever right however big they need them uh, so anyways this is all underground okay this is all underground the, the piling rig comes in and they drill a hole and if the ground is sturdy enough, they'll just pour concrete directly into it, okay? After dropping a rebar cage, sorry. They'll, there will be a rebar uh, cage dropped in, okay? And then the concrete will be poured in. The top of the rebar cage will will have um, a plate, okay? With, with some sort of, like they're like funky looking hook things, okay? They're just, they're just like, um, bolts almost but bent the this is now where the pile cap will be built right there'll be what's called a pile cap and then grade beams right so a pile cap is is just a little bit bigger but what they do there is they put a plate in the concrete to attach to the I beams okay the steel I beams right now this is all below the grade who could be anywhere okay grade could be here uh whatever okay but then this is where your grade beams come in okay they'll attach from pile cap to pile cap right blah 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 right so this is a grade beam pile cap pile and then this slab is poured in what's left after okay there's rebar everything like that but that's not that's just what you don't see okay so there's a system to everything okay this pile the i-beam is is a structural thing okay you're going to be following this system all the way through the building so it's important to know what's inside of it right there's it's just for integrity now you understand why right you're not going to put like Usually you're not going to put structural studs somewhere like inside, you know, where, where there's no there's no grade beam or, you know, pile cap or whatnot, you know. Uh, you, you'll be doing like interior partitions is what that is. So you can find grid lines from, from, from doing this, okay? Finding the centers of the piles and the pile caps, okay? You can, you can find and you can snap the grid lines. From the grid lines is where you can get your numbers from the drawings, right? The blueprints. Uh, and it's it's kind of like simple as that. There's, um, there's, there's ways that you have to cheat this sometimes. The, the, that's what I mean by making the, the structural steel and the concrete perfect because it's in, it's imperfect every time okay <laughs> every time it's in, it's imperfect so it's our job to make the steel work with it okay so that everything else works um, so you need to pay attention to the, your the, every finish okay so that's what's so neat about steel stud okay and I and drywall is because we're involved with every trade like almost every trade you know um every trade except for like the flooring guys or whatnot but every other trade mechanical electrical uh um um concrete structural steel 
um, carpentry because uh, like uh, there's backing and all like uh, there's millwork that goes in so we have to have you know we have to make sure if there's millwork in a in a in a in a room that the layout is mint right it has to be perfect okay um and in that some kind sometimes you uh need to to verify that with your superintendent on the job but a good superintendent will be on top of shit like that it will be like hey you know just so you know we have specialty uh millwork that's already been measured it comes from china so we can't fuck the measurements up um make sure it's this measurement okay and you do it right uh so a lot of lot of lot of people will be like, oh, I mean, what well, I'm gonna just put on what's on the drawing and what's on the what's what's on the drawing, right? Screw them, right? I'm just do do my job and put up put what's on the drawing, and then uh, put in a change order later. I can get paid more, okay, to do a change, okay. Um, so yeah, you could do that, right? But doing that enough times, and you're and you're not gonna be a, the guy they're gonna they're gonna they're only gonna call you when they're desperate type thing, you know? Like you're not gonna be the 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 good um the good guy by doing that all the time right now we know okay we have the grade beams that connect all of the the pile caps together these are all the piles and to find the grid lines you you literally go to, to from to the center okay and a lot of the times it's going to be hidden right but you're going to have con columns concrete columns steel columns um you know, there's, you're gonna have to center to those, right? That's all you're gonna do to find your grid lines, okay? Get get some major grid lines snapped, find them, and then um, snap them, spray them with the clear coat, make sure they're there for, uh, they're there for, you know, so that you, as long enough you need to, you to get your um, your lines from, right? So uh, that's that's what that's what grid lines are. Yeah, so all the columns and stuff like that will be um, centered to these um, piles. They might not be on every one, but usually there'll be a column at the pile, right? And then those those columns are carried up through the building, and they'll and you'll notice they're big. Columns are a little bit bigger in the bottom, and they get a little smaller as as the building gets higher, right? So uh, yeah, you just find your grid lines from those. Okay, um, a lot of the times, if you're lucky, the the saw cutters, right? You'll be in right after the saw cutters and the grid lines will be snapped for you, right? That's that's what happens a lot of the time. So find find grid lines that have already snapped because there'll be there will be some, I'm sure, you know. Um, so yeah, that's always a good thing. If you can find another like a one that the general contractor has snapped, then you're laughing all the way to the bank, right? All right, if you have any questions at all about the video, be sure to leave them down below in the comments because I get back to everybody. I'm going to put a video right here for you guys to keep on watching so that you can learn even more about metal stud framing and keep on keep an eye out for the rest of these videos in the layout series because I'll be going over everything. So you guys will definitely learn some stuff. All right, metal stud framers, I'll see you on the next one.